A small group of friends plans a trip to their isolated hunting lodge in the Austrian Alps with their dog, Lux. Only the woman and Lux remain in the valley when the two of them leave to have fun. Not in her wildest dream that this normal occurrence could be the beginning of something unfathomable in her life. On the 5th of November, a woman writes a journal and notes that she doesn't like writing in particular. However, this is the only way she can stay sane through the long and dark winter afternoons she's experiencing. She's still determining if the things she writes are true since time has passed, and she has already lost count. She also expresses how afraid she feels right now. She stops writing and looks out the window, only to reveal a mob of crows flying and dark, gloomy surroundings outside the lodge. She resumes writing, saying that she uses the back of the calendar and some old stationaries that belongs to her friend Hugo, who is also a great collector and extreme health enthusiast. She declares that the report should start with him since she owes him how she stayed alive all this time. One sunny day, the woman and her friends, Hugo and Louise, travel to their isolated hunting lodge in a valley of the Austrian Alps together with their dog, Lux. After some time, her friends return to the village to have fun, but they promise to return by evening. Hugo wants to bring Lux, but Louise commands the dog to stay. The canine is reluctant at first but returns to the house as the woman watches the scene. She sympathizes with the dog, seeing how sad it is, so she tries to pet it but it snarls at her. As the night falls, the woman and Lux stare at each other as they prepare for the night and wait for their companions. She sleeps at 9pm with the keys in her room. The following day, she awakens with Lux's whimpering, so she opens the door and the dog rushes out. She soon realizes that her friends haven't returned. She feels anxious about this since it's uncharacteristic of her friends to leave her alone, especially as Yuga has a particular health condition. With this, she decides to walk down the village with Lux. The dog runs ahead of her, and she follows behind. Then she hears Lux whimper. She sees it head down, seemingly hurt, so she pets the dog and encourages it to follow her. She resumes walking but suddenly bumps into something, stopping her in her tracks. She touches whatever is in front of her and discovers an invisible wall blocking the road. Before she can comprehend it, her heart thumps loudly in nervousness. Though she tries to find a way out of it, she can only touch what seems like a window pane. She sits on the side to regain composure and unravels why she feels unsettled and she walks up to this point. She unconsciously notices that the road is empty, and not a single person or vehicle passes by. She goes up to the invisible wall three more times, thinking if it's a hallucination, but she knows it's real. With this, she returns to the closest farmhouse, a cottage, to ask for help. She's relieved to see the owners outside, but when she calls out to them, she's stopped by the invisible wall again. She thumps on it to call their attention, but she soon realizes that the people seem frozen in time while the water on the hand pump continuously flows. Eventually, she gives up after her failed attempts to call their attention. She calls Lux, and they return to their lodge. She contemplates the situation, and she's full of denial, but on the brighter side, both of them are together in this predicament. That night, she feels anxious and opens the main door, only to find an invisible wall on the lodge entrance. She shouts in despair, but she suddenly wakes up from her nightmare. With Lux on her side, she stays positive, seeing that it's a bright day in May despite knowing there's no means of escape. She takes a solid resolve to survive no matter what since this is not the first time she has had to live under similar conditions. The woman concludes that the more she accepts the facts, the less despair she'll feel. The woman says she can't remember exactly how she spent that morning, but the next time she goes down the gorge, she carries Yugo's binoculars. She observes the owners of the cottage and sees there's no change. She thinks that if what they experience is the end of life, she believes it's gentle and loving. She questions her decision not to come with her friends to the village. Afterward, Lux runs away, barking fiercely, so she follows it. Soon, the dog scares a cow out of its hiding place. The woman is terrified at first, but knows she needs it for survival, knowing it could be a good food source, but she also has to take care of it a lot. The next day, she drives a car to the wall, thinking she can break it. She musters her courage and speeds up, but it's the car that ends up breaking. Ten days have passed, and she soon feels despair. She ponders between trying to survive or ending her life. However, her responsibility for Lux and Bella pushes her to survive. Thanks to Hugo's preparations, she has a massive stock of wood that can last a lifetime and enough supplies for the summer. She heads out and plants potatoes while Lux helps her with the digging. She tries to keep track of the day since it's her only connection to the civilized world. At the end of May, warm rain pours down, and she suddenly hears a cat. She goes out to find it drenched on her porch. Now she has three companions, the cow, the cat, and the dog. For her, Lux is not only a pet, but her best friend. Soon after, she learns to hunt animals for food. She also returns to her broken car and finds a map. Though she can't leave the lodge permanently due to Bella, she explores the perimeter of the invisible wall. She discovers a greener and warmer pasture on higher grounds and continues feeling compelled to do something rather than staying in the lodge, waiting for nothing. 
there's a small cottage in that place which could be helpful for them in the future. That afternoon, the woman and Lux lay on the grass with a bird circling on top of them. She feels an unexplainable peace and warmth, but she knows she has to return to her residence. Soon after, they resume their journey and hunt along the way. The woman finds hunting disgusting, especially as the animals writhe in pain before passing away, so she doesn't write these events in the journal. One night, as the thunder rumbles, the cat gives birth to one kitten, and she names it Pearl. She feels greatly attached to the kitten since it would be hopeless for the small animal to survive if there's no one to take care of her. The woman reminisces that her first summer inside the wall revolved around the welfare of her animals rather than her situation. Later that season, she harvests the hay in the meadow, blistering her hand in the process. It takes her three weeks to finish as she simultaneously checks the wall's existence while traveling back and forth. Realization of her desperate situation strikes her hard and it lasts 14 days before she gets back on track. She reaps the fruits of her labor as the crops bloom abundantly. As the seasons transition from summer to fall, the woman mentions how she adores Lux. Their bond begins to deepen as the dog is the one that makes her see the beauty around her. Lux being attached to her also makes her feel special. Her journey to the past halts as she thinks of her present state. With all the bitterness and longing in her heart, she still hears Lux's paws rustling on the dried leaves. She can still see a glimpse of its brown fur from the corner of her eyes. Her beloved dog and best friend is a ghost now, a spirit she continuously yearns to feel and see. The woman gets teary-eyed remembering the events, but she soon resumes recalling the past. During her first winter, when the wind begins blowing, the cats get smitten by the dampness of the forest. The woman worries about Pearl, but she can't stop the cats from roaming around. It only takes three days before Pearl succumbs to the harsh nature. That night, she buries her favorite cat and mourns her first loss within the wall. The next day, she begins hunting, but reflects on Pearl's loss concluding that she's the only one who knows right and wrong in this forest. This becomes a vague concept, but she knows she has to grasp this image of humanity. On the other hand, Bella begins to round more, but the woman is unsure if she's pregnant. For her, the cow is now like a sister. That winter, she needs to resume hunting for food, but she finds it revolting every time, making the season much more chilling and dark. Amid the events, Bella becomes distressed, so the woman stays in the barn to accompany it. There, the cow gives birth to her calf. The woman feels exhausted due to everything she's been through. Her mind and heart go blank as she gets surrounded by the white snow. She succumbs to depression, but thanks to Lux, which always bugs her to move, she resumes her life, forcing herself to be stronger. Her memories flow to the present once more, and she craves Lux's presence because she truly feels alone. She reminisces again to the point where she and her animals journey to the pasture to feel the sun's warmth again. In this pasture, the woman feels renewed. She knows it's the beginning of something new, and her spirits lift, basking on the beauty of the nature around her and her company, the animals. Her life views transform as she becomes more detached from her previous life and civilization. As the seasons change, they return to the lodge. From then on, the woman loses track of time and season, even the events she's done since time flies so fast. The following autumn, a white crow ostracized by its mob comes flying near her house. She finds it beautiful and relates to how it's shunned by its group, so she provides it with food every time it's left alone. She associates it with herself in the hopes that one day she can find someone similar. Two years have passed, and they return to the pasture during the winter. The woman realizes how detached she is from her past, not even knowing the difference between her as a human and Lux as a dog. She notices how her best friend has changed over time. Lux has become calmer and can go to places alone. On the other hand, the woman can understand the dog, like the back of her hands. They have a solid and silent understanding that they won't abandon each other. One day, upon returning home from her usual explorations, Lux suddenly stops and stands alert. She runs towards the cottage only to find a man with an axe butchering Bella's calf. Lux stops the man, but he also mercilessly attacks the dog. The woman rushes rushes to get a rifle and shoots the stranger. Lux is severely injured, so she carries it to the bench in the house. In the distance, she hears Bella's cry of despair. Then she remembers the man. She checks to see if the man is still alive and feels relieved when she sees his lifeless body. She drags the stranger to the cliff's edge and lets it roll down. As the sun sets, she digs a deep grave for her beloved best friend, Lux. She covers it with grass and mourns in silence throughout the night. The next day, the woman leaves the pasture with Bella. Soon after, she resumes her usual activities, harvesting the crops as the cycle continues. Finally, she stops to confront her thoughts but finds them blank. Back to the present, she declares that she's more at peace. She's calmer and has a strong will to survive, though the grief, loneliness, and hard work will remain as long as she lives, especially after losing Pearl and Lux. She feels 
something new is about to begin, noting it's the 25th of February, and her cycle will repeat, waiting for the white crow to feed it. Here, she finally ends her report. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.